Hey, what's up you guys? Aaron here from Clever Programmer. And today I just want to explain strings a little bit. It's a data type in Python. And yeah, let's get started. All right, so strings. What the heck are strings in Python? Well, I mentioned this in a previous video about uh, data types that um, all I said was that strings are just um, things on the screen that are enclosed in quotation marks. Okay, so let's just have S for a string. So anything in here like, hello, ma'am, okay? Anything enclosed in quotation marks here is considered a string. That's about all I said in the previous video. But um, what I actually wanna go through is the distinction between this and the uh, integers and floats and other data types. So a string literally is just whatever, whatever um, is typed on the screen, it is exactly that, okay? Like the, the, the string is literally that data. It is that sentence there. A, a good way to think of a string is just a sentence. It's a, a, a string of any characters, numbers, and symbols, okay, in a sentence. So you can have anything you want there. As long as you want, it can be empty. It can have one character. It can have an entire novel, entire ebook in there. It is just considered one string. And um, it is its own data type because it is considered one whole. It's that entire sentence together is is the very the thing that I'm putting into this variable s here as you can see that entire thing is there and it's just it, it is what it is it's a little bit hard to explain but it's just exactly that so um you can move this around you can you can print s as you can see uh, as you can see if I run this then hello ma'am pops up just like that because this stuck together as a whole and um yeah uh, pretty much you can you can also index into this so let's say uh, I want to print um, s. Uh, so this little bracket here. What this means is I'm going to index into s. So if this follow, if this is following s, and I put a number in here, this is just going to give us a little part of the string. So this here, um, we start at zero. We don't start at one in programming. So we start at zero. This would actually just give us h. If I put in a one, it would actually give us e. So you're actually able to read uh, different parts of a string. You can actually read different ranges in the string too, but I'm gonna explain that at a later date in a different video. It's called slicing. If you're interested in that, um, to get something, to get a substring out of here, a substring is just um, a small part of a, of, a, of a longer string, then you can look that up, but uh, I'll have a video coming out on that going really, really in depth with that later if you just wanna wait for that. But yeah, um, that's pretty much strings. Um, there's a lot of different functions on strings you can call too. I'll also be going be going over those uh, in future videos. Um, but pretty much all you need to know is that a string is just something enclosed in quotation marks. You can also use single quotes. I forgot to mention that if I didn't already say that, just like that, that'll work equally as well. Um, but yeah, a string is just that. It's just a sentence, a sentence that is together and that's the data type. Um, thank you for watching you guys. I'll see you in the next video.